Well, hello there, Libra. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing a special three-month reading. So this is good for the rest of May, June, and July, and kind of even moving into a little bit of that early August energy. So we'll take a look at the overall energies for the three months, and then we'll take a look at the energies for each of the three months. So, um, and this reading is good for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if the energy here doesn't resonate with you, you may want to check out one of your other signs to see if there's a message there for you. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have here. Moss Spirit, Surrender Now. And in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Okay, it's almost as if you're trying to push so hard, okay, and that you're not making progress in whatever it is that you're you're trying to manifest or acquire or achieve in your life. So it's almost as if you have to say, okay, that's it. I, I, I surrender to the divine. I will <laughs> go with the flow, whatever this is. It's almost like um, an energy of... Um, Okay, it's your air energy, <laughs> and what you're trying to do is logically figure this situation out. It's about getting into your heart, your emotions, allowing your emotions and your love and your your just your your energy of emotional love in the situation to allow you to move forward. So it's about listening to your heart instead of listening to your head. I think your head is almost kind of like, okay, they're showing me, um, okay, you see how the moth, I always love this energy because it's almost like the moth has high heels on. <laughs> I love the, this illustration, but they're showing me the two legs here as the two of swords, almost kind of like blocking what your emotions are wanting to bring into the situation you know yes look yeah the five of wands on the bottom kind of a sense of you know blocking yourself because of your own sense of competition or feeling like you're you're not enough or you're having to compete against other people or other situations so that could even be in the romantic sector feeling as if you're not enough you know or something like that or even in your career or any situation just yeah the five of cups is right here in the center oh this is beautiful <laughs> so you have a five of cups right in the center under understanding that it is your own sense of perhaps thinking about what you may have lost in a certain situation or what has transpired in your life that has been disappointing, kind of concentrating on that instead of looking forward to new things on the horizon. Because underneath you have, you're very close to achieving your goal and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> okay, so it's this back and forth energy, Libra. Um, I'm only... I'm giggling here because I can so resonate. I'm not Libra, but I can so resonate with going back and forth to this is not going to work out. This situation is going to end. And oh my gosh, I'm almost there. <laughs> so it's kind of like you're going back and forth. And because you're going back and forth, it's really hard to get all your energy to move forward. Um, sometimes what we have to do is just really surrender. Something in the past maybe didn't work out. Doesn't mean that this new new relationship situation career job is not going to work out you're kind of concentrating on something that maybe didn't work out in the past and you're bringing that energy into some new situation so get in the flow get into the love of the situation because starting right off you have the nine of cups getting into the emotions of what it is that you want um, allowing your heart to really kind of open up and to really kind of almost like embrace <laughs> the enthusiasm that you have for something that you want. Instead of like trying to analyze how you're going to bring it in, it's kind of like getting into your heart, kind of like even taking, you know, like a couple of minutes, three times a day, right? Of just visualizing, getting into your heart chakra of how this will feel when something comes in for you. Um, you know, that is the greatest <laughs> manifesting that we can do is that when we just allow our emotions, our heart to open 
open up to receive what it is that we are truly wanting. Um, it's kind of like you may be doing that and then all of a sudden your, your ego is coming in and saying, hey Libra, yeah, but remember that romantic relationship didn't work in the past. That job didn't work in the past. You tried a, a, a business before and it didn't work. So your ego is coming in reminding you of things that didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to. And so you're kind of like closing off your heart. You're kind of like, oh yeah, I don't want that to happen again. And then shutting down that beautiful open heart of wanting to receive something that is near and dear to you. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of May. Communication is is uh, key. New moon in Gemini. So we have the new moon in Gemini coming up here. I think it's May 22nd, but it's towards the end of May. And it's just this energy of, <laughs> okay, they're pointing out, you see the Gemini is the twin. So there's like two, you know, heads there, right? Um, it's you are toying between what what happened in the past and where you want to go in the future. It's that back and forth energy, right? Gemini are the twins. And a lot of times, you know, uh, Geminis are considered to be kind of fickle because, you know, one day they want one thing, the next day they want another. Well, you actually are kind of embracing that energy. One day you're really focused on what it is that you truly want. Um, something new in your life, something near and dear to your heart, something that brings you purpose, joy, abundance, happiness, right? Um, there's something here and yet at the same time you're having a hard time because this is your obstacle the queen of pentacles of actually bringing it in and i think the reason is is because even though the queen of pentacles is a beautiful energy it is very much about being in the tangible <laughs> looking at the pentacles pentacles represent tangible things that we can hold i feel like this is is an energy of recognizing that you're closing your heart to what you truly want. You're logically thinking about what you want, but you're not allowing your heart to step in and allow your passion, your desire, your motivation, your inspiration to come forth in this situation. So let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles also can mean, because it's in it's in basically it's in your obstacle position so it's kind of like it's reversed is that you may feel like you don't have the resources to bring in what you want um or you could yes look at this the three of swords is popping out here um or you could feel like you don't physically because the pentacles can also represent our physical health the queen of pentacles takes really good care of herself self-care is really important at this time so you could be not taking as good a care of yourself, but loving yourself through this situation, being kind and compassionate, looking at what you're saying to yourself as you're trying to manifest something and at the same time allowing things, situations from the past to prevent you from moving forward. So, you know, um, it's kind of like, wow, yes, I, I would love to bring in, say, a new romantic partner into my life. And you get all excited, you know, maybe you even start you know, uh, you go for a makeover or, <laughs> or something like that, right? You get really kind of excited about having somebody new in your life. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of like, yes, but remember what happened in the past, right? So um, I really, I feel like you're allowing your ego instead of saying, okay, thank you, ego. Thank you for trying to keep me safe and not allowing my heart to be broken again, but I'm ready. I've healed and I'm ready for it. Yeah, I feel honestly like there is love coming in for you, okay? An offer of love or a, an offer of something that is going to bring you a lot of joy, something that you're going to willing, you're willing to put a lot of time and energy into So after having your heart broken so it's almost as if you had your heart broken a new offer is coming in and it's about you stepping into the energy of receiving it so that you can work on it um allowing yourself to open your heart and a lot of it is having to put down the burdens of the past right um and then you have the lovers <laughs> the ace of pentacles the page of swords and the hierophant wow committed relationship you know, um, if it's not a relationship, I feel like it is an offer. You know, the Ace of Pentacles can be is something solid 
that is trustworthy, something that you can really, you know, uh, trust. And I feel as if there's something, whether it's a romantic relationship or it is, you know, a new job offer or a new business or a new client, a new project that you're wanting to start. It's kind of like, oh my goodness, with the lovers and the Ten of Cups, it's allowing yourself to drop the burdens of the past so that you are willing to receive. That's the key here. I feel like it's allowing yourself to receive in the flow, surrendering, right? Surrendering. Everything is smooth sailing when you allow yourself to receive. Um, so Libra, a lot of times we can say that we're ready for something and yet we're still blocking it because we're afraid of being hurt. It's about understanding you are ready for this. It's all, all you have to do is open your heart and say, yes, I'm willing to put time and energy into this. You could have had a lot of excuses. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, well, um, I'll, I'll start dating when, you know, I lose five pounds or I'll um, I look for a new job after I get my ne next evaluation. It's almost like you have maybe been putting things off um, and if it's about taking good care of yourself right you could have been putting something off like a doctor's appointment or you know starting a, a exercise regime or something like that until well after I get back from vacation or something like that it's kind of like understanding no the time is now the time is ready. You are ready to embrace this. It's all about you opening up your heart because once you do open your heart, you move forward very quickly. It's almost an energy of understanding that the only thing that is holding you back is your fears of not being successful, you know, of having your heart broken, of being disappointed once again. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah it, it's taking something that has made you feel not worthy enough or not having enough into this beautiful energy of turning the wheel, of the, the blessings coming your way. And I feel like for some of you, it really is about stepping into loving yourself, understanding that th the words that you use when you're talking to yourself, the way that you take care of yourself, um, you know, even I'm going to say it's a little bit about understanding that you are worthy because the queen of pentacles is the sense of feeling worthy, but it's in your obstacle. Understanding that you are worthy of what it is that your heart truly desires. I feel, you know, for some of you, you could, there. there's almost a little sense of, of, um, Libra, of, of kind of, uh, I'm, of kind of feeling like maybe you did something to deserve not having what it is that you truly want. So you could feel like maybe you hurt somebody in the past in some way. Um, and you may not have intentionally done it, right? I mean, sometimes we we just unintentionally hurt other people, but I feel like you're, you're almost holding yourself accountable for something. It's, it's, I feel like if you're resonating with that, and it may not resonate with everybody, if you feel like you're holding yourself accountable, like I can't move forward, I can't, um, as a, say you ended a romantic relationship, right? And you feel like maybe you didn't end the relationship in the healthiest way or the most loving way, or you have some regrets about the way that you ended it, right? It's about making amends if you need to with the Ace of Cups making amends or at least allowing giving yourself compassion for the way that you may have acted in a situation in the past because here's the thing Libra you're not the person you were in the past so you have ascended but it's almost as if you're being drawn back to take a look and it is kind of interesting we're in a mercury retrograde being drawn back to something that maybe you you did even, they're saying the number six, maybe even like six years ago. And you're kind of like looking back at that and saying, I wish I had done something differently. For some of you, it may be worth reaching out to somebody and making amends, but at least being compassionate with yourself, understanding that you're not the same person that you were back then. You would do things, things differently. No longer have to like punish yourself. There's almost this energy of, no, I don't deserve what my heart desires because of something that I did in the past. 
because when you're willing to put some time and energy into making these amends, then all of a sudden you realize, okay, that you truly deserve <laughs> what your heart desires and you can move forward into this bright new chapter and you do it so quickly. I feel like for some of you, if you know, you have the eight of wands, that there is something about taking action to, to kind of make amends or if somebody is trying to make amends to you, so if somebody else ended something very difficultly with you, okay, because we have the Ten of Swords underneath, it's about accepting their, their apology. And it's not about condoning, once again, not about condoning somebody else's actions. It's about adding love to this situation because when you add love to this situation, the forgiveness is for you. It's not really about forgiving. It's The forgiveness isn't really a gift to somebody else. It's really a gift to yourself of saying, okay, this situation is done. I'm ready to move forward. Wow, what a beautiful energy because I do feel like this is the thing that has been holding you back for some time. It's also leaking into other areas of your life, perhaps your career, perhaps your self-care, perhaps your health, right? It's leaking into other situations in your life. Um, and whether you realize it or not, by allowing yourself to, to close this past energy out in a very loving way, either making amends with somebody else or allowing somebody else to make amends with you. But if nothing else, <laughs> having compassion for yourself in this situation, making amends to yourself, giving yourself permission to say, I am no longer, I would, I, I no longer am that person. I have learned from that experience and I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to put time and energy into the things that I truly love. Wow, beautiful energy. Wow, and I have to say, I'm really feeling it in my heart chakra. Like I think this really changes the way that you move forward. So let's take a look at June. Expect powerful change, yeah. I mean, it is just so interesting that when you are willing to make these amends or move in this direction, all of a sudden your entire life changes. You understand it's, a, it's kind of, um, I don't know, if you've ever had like a, a little bit of a health crisis. I had years ago, I had a little bit of a health crisis. And then when I got <laughs> the results back, right, they ran some tests and everything. When I got the results back and everything was good, it was like this huge relief but it was also kind of like oh my gosh like i've got to go live life now <laughs> you know um and i feel like that is a little bit of the energy here where you're you're understanding just how much this situation has held you back and it could be a little bit of releasing some of that karma that you have been carrying for some time it enlightens your your entire life your mood your heart and you're willing to move forward in such a quick way because you have the moon, you're understanding this situation was on your path for a certain reason. The moon card is understanding that the path has been somewhat uh, shadowed for you. You haven't seen the way forward. You've had to use, okay, your subconscious, your intuition in order to move forward. But that a lot of times you were facing fears along that path. Um, and facing those fears has helped you to step into a new energy. So uh, let's um, clarify that. Yeah, you, you're, you've learned, <laughs> you've learned, they came out this way. So you've learned something from the situation. You understand that this whole process was a part of your evolution and you've learned from it. So now you can end that chapter and move forward in a much more inspired way. Um, the biggest obstacle is still looking to the past, is still looking at the things that didn't work out understanding that it is time to put down this Gemini energy of the two heads looking forward and looking to the past of stepping completely into the future. Yes, and you are. And here you are. You're showing up in your own energy. When you allow yourself to surrender, to get back into your heart, to understand your heart is not going to be broken in this situation. It's You've healed, but it's finally saying to yourself, I give you permission to move forward. You are saying to yourself, I give myself permission 
to move forward. You may want to repeat that to yourself several times a day until you actually step into that energy because you are the wise one. You have something to share with the world. With the page of wands, you're going out, you're inspiring, you're, you're inspired and you're inspiring others. And with the justice card, understanding that you, I feel like you're ending a karmic cycle here. Um, because you've carried this energy with some time and now you're willing to put your time and energy into your work, into your career, into building things that you are wanting to build for yourself, a build a new life, build a new relationship, build a new job, jo job, career, business. It's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to move. Yes. <laughs> My here it is. <laughs> okay. So in June, you're ready to go. You're inspired. You're ready to go out and go after the world but look at what you have the two of swords still trying to analyze it you're still trying to analyze it the sooner you can open your heart and move with what your heart is truly desiring focusing on your emotions about a situation instead of the logic of the situation right you will move forward more quickly I feel like this is kind of a little bit of a lesson of listening to your heart of pulling yourself out of that air energy. Not that your air energy is bad, but you need a balance. You need a balance of the heart and the head. You need to balance the two of them in order to bring in what it is that you're truly wanting to manifest. Um, yeah, what a beautiful energy. I feel there, there's part of me that is saying that this is just kind of like learning. It's almost as if, okay, I used to play, uh, well, I do play the piano, but one of the first songs I learned how to play as a child is chopsticks, right? And you kind of like, you know, come in and then you go out, but they're showing me like playing the keys and coming in towards the center, right? I feel like you, you may have this imbalance, you know, between head and heart at this time, but over the next two or three months, you're coming, like, coming in closer and closer to having a really good balance between head and heart and when your head and your heart meet oh my goodness that is where you can really achieve what it is that you truly want okay so let's move to July and see what you have your commitment is being tested yeah okay I'm going to say it again if you the the message here is that if you want the next three months to, to go more smoothly it's about stepping into your heart to balance out your head <laughs> and it could be that you're 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 kind of, you know, communication is key. It's the communication you have, not only with other people, but it's the communication you have with yourself, the words that you use with yourself. When you feel like you're, say, you start a new exercise regime, right? You're trying to get more into the Queen of Pentacles energy, taking better care of yourself. And, you know, it rains and you decide, oh, I'm not going to, you know, go for a walk today you know? And then the thing is, is that maybe you say, okay, instead of going for a walk, I, I'm going to do, I don't know, 50 sit-ups <laughs> inside the house, right? But it's also about not beating yourself up and saying, oh my goodness, Libra, you're so lazy. You know, you won't even, you're just a fair weather exerciser, you know, um, and, and kind of beating yourself up about it. Instead, what you're doing is saying, okay, it's raining. I, I, and I am one of those, <laughs> that's a fair weather exerciser. Um, so I'm not going to walk outside in the rain, but instead I'm going to go up and down the stairs in my house 10 times. And, you know, I'm still taking good care of myself. I'm, I'm sticking to some type of routine. It's allowing yourself to be compassionate with yourself and understanding, okay, I'm not I'm not throwing away everything in my exercise regime. If I skip one day, I'm just skipping one day. It's about moderation. Understanding that, okay, I'm being committed, but commitment means that I'm showing up consistently. If I have to skip a day for one reason or another, it doesn't mean that I'm totally inconsistent and I need to beat myself up about it. Instead, I'm going to say, okay, it's not going to work today. <laughs> you know, it's not going to work today. I, I promise to myself that I will recommit tomorrow. Um, I really love that energy because I do feel like, you know, a lot of times, um, 
it, it is important to commit, right? It is important to commit, but at the same time, uh, allowing, uh, knowing that there is, you know, extraordinary circumstances. There are situations where sometimes the rule doesn't fit the situation. You know, when I was a teacher, you know, like the school system had certain rules about discipline and that type of thing. But sometimes those rules didn't really fit the child, you know? Um, that child maybe was dealing with a lot at home or something like that. They maybe needed a little bit more guidance. Um, and it wasn't just all about punishment. It was, <laughs> they really needed a little bit more guidance, you know, or somebody to listen to them. You know, they could have been acting out because of something else that was going on at home. The punishment, I'm not saying that there, <laughs> that there shouldn't be any consequences, right? But sometimes the consequences didn't really fit the child's situation. And I feel like that's kind of what you're coming into with yourself is understanding that you may be more compassionate to other people than you are to yourself. It's about committing to your being compassionate to yourself of understanding that you're kind of holding yourself back because you may have like these really strict rules that you are trying to to follow and if it and that if you you break the exercise <laughs> regime one day that you're you're bringing yourself down by the self-talk that you're using so you're holding yourself back instead of opening your heart and saying, okay, yeah, all right, I, I missed today, but tomorrow's a new day. Um, and tomorrow I will recommit or I'll do something different. Or it doesn't mean I'm a bad person or that I don't love myself, right? It's understanding that you, you, that you, you can be gentle with yourself. You can be compassionate. Yeah, I feel... You know, there is, there's this energy here of you are beating your own self up in this situation. And, you know, the hanged man is in reverse here. So it's understanding, okay, wait a minute. Beating myself up isn't getting me anywhere. I need to open my heart and surrender, okay? Surrender to the journey, enjoying the journey, uh, understanding that every day isn't going to go as planned. Um, and allowing yourself to move forward because look at you have the Empress energy, your energy, stepping into this beautiful energy of loving yourself, of loving the people in your life, loving what it is that you are doing, you know, on a daily basis. It just finding joy, fulfillment in the life that you are building for yourself. That's really beautiful because I feel as if there is something in your heart that your heart is really and truly desiring. It's almost as if you're saying, no, you don't deserve it. <laughs> you're, you're saying to your heart, you don't deserve it. And it could be once again that you feel like maybe you disappointed somebody else or you disappointed yourself. You didn't show up for yourself in the past. Understanding that that is the past. That doesn't mean that you have to recreate it now. You're breaking a pattern of, of um, having a lack of compassion, I would say, for yourself and perhaps for other people, right? Of understanding, okay, I'm, I'm, I, I can do this again. I can do it in a new way because you have the Ten of Cups. There's something that your heart is truly desiring. You're not allowing yourself to have it. So here we are in July and you're you're still holding yourself back but I feel like because <laughs> you're ending this cycle you are truly ending this cycle but between now and like the end of July you're ending this cycle of not allowing your heart to truly I feel like there's something you really and truly want Libra like I think you know what it is it's underlying it's something it's almost like it's this energy where you know what it is, like in, intuitively, you know what it is that you really and truly want, but your heart, your ego, I should say your ego is preventing you from going there. Almost as a sense of, you know, especially if you feel like there's a conversation you want to have with somebody, you know, you, you may want to make amends or you may want to reopen a conversation 
you know, or, or, or a relationship, a situation, but you're really, you're toying, you're saying, no, I can't go there because of something that maybe happened in the past, whether it was your action or your reaction to something. It's almost as if you won't allow yourself to go there, but I feel like you can't move forward until you allow yourself to go there, to experience what it is that your heart truly desires in this situation. Yeah, you know, to bring balance to it. You're you're toying. You're toying about how to bring balance to the situation. You know, it's something that your heart truly desires, but you are Libra, if you're feeling stuck, <laughs> you're stuck because you're allowing yourself to be stuck. And I know that that's sometimes difficult to hear, but it's For one reason or another, you are feeling as if you don't truly deserve this. Um, I'm going to, it's a little bit as if, um, as, as somebody may have said something to you in the past and it's like playing out in your mind, okay? Um, okay, I'm going to give you, <laughs> this is not, I'm sure your situation is much bigger than this, but I had somebody in my past that once told me I don't take very good care of my shoes. And I'll have to admit, there's a little bit of truth to that. <laughs> there is a little bit of truth to that. But because of that, I never bought the shoes that I truly loved because I was always like, well, I, I, you know, like shoes that really were more, probably more expensive than what I normally buy. And it wasn't that I wanted them because they were expensive, but because they were a better quality shoe. Okay. So I was buying inexpensive shoes and it was because in the back of my mind, somebody had said to me once, you just don't take very good care of your shoes. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't deserve the nice pair of shoes. You don't take good care of your shoes. And I recognize that for years, okay, that was playing out in my mind. I might go shopping with a girlfriend or something. I actually have a girlfriend that buys really nice shoes and she has them for years, right? I mean, she buys, she, you know, spends, you know, a little bit more money and she has them for years. And I was always like, yeah, I don't deserve those type of shoes because I can't take care of my shoes. I told myself that because somebody had said it and then in, internally I was kind of like, I don't deserve those pretty nice shoes <laughs> that my friend buys, right? But it was something my heart truly desired. And then it was kind of like I realized that I was allowing something from the past to prevent me from stepping into something. And I, I really, it was my heart was saying, because I went shopping with my friend that does have nice shoes. And I was like, wow, I really like those, th these shoes that I tried on. I tried them on and I was like, you know, I have issues with my feet and my feet felt great in them and I can walk really nice in them. Uh, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, okay. But I was like, but I don't take very good care of my shoes. And she says, well, you choose not to take good care of your shoes or you choose to believe you don't take good care of your shoes, you know? If you really want those shoes and you purchase them and you put love into them, all right, <laughs> then you will have those shoes for, you know, uh, uh, years. And I purchased them. I actually did. I actually purchased them and I have loved them. It has not <laughs> been a disappointment. And I do take good care of them. But part of it was, I think I almost wasn't taking good care of my shoes because somebody told me that I didn't take good care of my shoes. And I believed it. It's about stepping into your heart. If there's something that you really and truly want, whether this is a relationship, a job, a career, a situation, a house, a car, a pair of shoes, right? It's understanding that it's all up to you. It's about the love that you have. It's opening your heart and saying, you know what? I do deserve to have what it is that I want. Um, that you're not the person that you are. I mean, I had that person say that to me like 40 years ago <laughs> that I didn't take good care of my shoes. I spent the next 40 years, right, believing it. 
I am definitely not the person I was in my 20s, right? I mean, that is so long ago and it really affected my life for a, a long time, right? I mean, and it, uh, it, it, it is a kind of one of those situations here where you feel like you don't deserve what your heart truly desires because maybe of some action that you took. And there was a situation where I had a pair of shoes and I didn't take care of them. And then somebody pointed that out to me. Ah, you don't take care of your shoes. And then I believed that for the rest of my life. So take a look at what this is. You know, whether this is a situation in the past that you kind of need to make amends with, either with somebody or with yourself, right? Or, or what the situation is, because it's time to end this. It's time to go forward in a new direction. Oh, understanding. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not the person I was. And if this is a relationship, I feel like you're opening it up again and starting the conversation, perhaps, or if this person reaches out to you recognizing you are not the person that you were before when this person or situation was in your life previously. You're not. And allowing yourself to, to even voice that if you need to. I'm not the person I was. And, and recognizing that the person, that person is not the person they were too. Oh, it goes both ways. Yes, that is the message. Understanding you're not the same person, but if you want that person to believe you're not the same person, then you also have to recognize that they're not the same person. Okay, so let's see where this is leading. We have the death card. It's time to and this cycle. It is time to have more compassion for yourself of understanding that it is time to move forward. You know, in just a, a much more loving. When you surrender to what your heart truly desires, everything moves smoothly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Page of Cubs. I feel like for some of you, there is some type of an apology either to someone else or you're receiving an apology or more importantly apologizing to yourself giving yourself this compassion yeah because you're healing <laughs> there's this healing and you're healing this ten of cups something that your heart truly desires you intuitively know that this situation this person this relationship this career this business whatever it is it's time to embrace it to say you know what this is something that my heart truly desires and I'm willing to put the time and the energy into it no longer not allowing yourself to have what it is that you truly desire oh my goodness <laughs> Libra this is beautiful all right let's pull a soul truth card for you and um Libra I do do personal readings so if you're interested the link is in the description box below I'd really be honored to do a reading for you all right what is my body telling me right now interesting because we have a queen of pentacles here okay in in may in right now taking good care of yourself you know that self-care understanding too your worthiness um our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort our body sends messages for us to look more deeply see the trapped emotions the, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain it's time to get your healing on and i feel like that's what you're doing over the next three months you're allowing this this whatever it is and once again you can be feeling it through your physical body of understanding okay there's something here there's an emotion i need to get back into the flow of my emotions you could be trying to even and you know of course if you're having some physical discomfort or ailments or something that you're worried about check with your doctor but Sometimes it is also about recognizing the emotions that are involved in physical ailments. Um, and it says, get the book, Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers toward which your body is guiding you. And that's a beautiful book. Um, I do have that book, um, you know, recognizing that emotional trauma can get trapped in our physical body. Um, it's time for some of this to come up. It's time to allow it to be released. But the very first thing that you may need to do here is just giving yourself compassion and gentleness 
and allowing some of this to happen. And especially if you feel like you were part of something, you know, a part of a disagreement or uh, an ending that didn't go the way that you kind of <laughs> wish it had, right? It's time to start a new chapter, you know? And it's time to bring some balance and love to this situation, especially with yourself. Being kind and gentle to yourself is the key. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Libra. I really do appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Much love and light. Bye for now.